LSU. At forward, number 24, 6'7", senior from St. Martinville, Louisiana, Leonard Mitchell. At forward, number 35, a 6'8", sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, Jerry Riddle. At center, number 41, a 6'8", freshman from Leesville, Louisiana, Nikita Wilson. At guard, number 10, a six-foot sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Derek Taylor. He leads the Tigers in scoring, averaging 16. And at guard, 16. number 20, 6'6", six, six senior from Pineville, Louisiana, John Tudor. And the coach of the Tigers, Dale Brown. Brown, who won his 200th and career game earlier this year. Senior from Latham, New York, Sam Perkins. At center, number 42, 6'11", sophomore from Black Mountain, North Carolina, Brad Gordy. At guard, number 30, a 6'2", freshman from the Queens, New York, Kenny Smith. At guard, number 23, 6'5", junior from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael Gordy. Prime time. And the coach of the Star Heels, Dean Smith. Brown has won his 200th game this season. Smith is now over 500 victories. Now in his 23rd year here in Chapel Hill. North Carolina unbeaten number one at LSU in just a moment. But Perkins at the right wing now, holding high against Mitchell. Comes to Darty, who works against Reynolds. To George. George up off the glass, went underneath, threw it back up from the right side. He caught it on the left, went underneath the basket, had to throw it up from the right, and the darn thing went in. LSU retains possession. Tigers are down four. Taylor will drive down left of the circle. Can't get through. I lob to Reynolds. Reynolds up for the shot. Foul by Jordan, and Reynolds converts. Jerry Reynolds, the sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, who was the Big Apple Player of the Year out of Alexander Hamilton, his senior year in high school. He'll have a chance for the three-point play. Carolina has picked up its first team foul, and it's number one on Michael Jordan. Nice speed from Derek Taylor. He is a very good assist man, Woody, and that's going to be an interesting matchup this afternoon between Kenny Smith and Derek Taylor. Two extremely quick players, and uh, that's going to be interesting to watch how Kenny Smith will react. I don't know if Kenny really played anybody that's quite as quick as uh, Taylor is today. Reynolds, who originally started his career at Wisconsin, but left there when Bill Cofield, the former Virginia assistant, resigned, makes his free throw on the three-point play, and it's 4-3. Second turnover for the Tar Heels. Taylor on the lead to Reynolds. Reynolds coming in on the left, puts it up off the glass, no good. Tap follows, no good, but Reynolds follows up on the left, and it's good. So Reynolds has got all five of LSU's points. Jordan has all four of Carolina's points. LSU takes the lead at 5-4 to four after Carolina has broken on top 4-0. Perkins on the right side. Darty, we got a whistle off the ball, and the foul has been called, I believe, on Reynolds, who is holding Jordan at the baseline. Foul on Reynolds is his first. It'll be the first team foul against the Tigers of LSU and Carolina will get the ball out of bounds at the baseline. Jerry Reynolds is the guy they call ice. He doesn't get as much recognition as some of his teammates, but he's a good player. He's drawn uh, Michael Jordan at the defensive assignment right now, and uh, that's a tough job for anybody, but Reynolds is a good defensive player. LSU switched its zone. alley to Jordan for the dunk. You could see it coming from our perch high atop the west end. Rebounded by Smith. Smith, look away to Jordan, coming in on the right. To Matt Doherty, layup, reverse is good. It's 10 to 5. Dale Brown needs an official timeout. He doesn't want to waste one of his own. He's only got three. Dean Smith calling Steve Hale off the Carolina bench. No LSU substitutions at the moment. Pass intended for Doherty, slapped away by Reynolds into the Tiger bench. It'll still be Carolina's ball, but Dale Brown applauds the defensive effort of Jerry Reynolds. LSU back within one, lead pass to Jordan, coming down at the other end, double, scooped it. I thought he was going for the shot, and he dropped it off to Brad Darty. Went right by two defenders. I think they thought he was going to shoot. He dropped it to Darty. Darty had an easy layup left side. 12-9, Carolina. Standing left of the circle at the high post to Kenny Smith. Low to Perkins, intercepted by uh, Reynolds for LSU. LSU with a chance to take the lead. Lead to Tudor, driving layup, good. 17-16 in favor of the Tigers, and Tudor has got six of LSU's 17 points. Kenny Smith across the timeline now, working to the left. Turns, goes back to the right. Taylor on him. Goes to Hale, knocked away by Reynolds. Reynolds on the drive. Smith to try to stop him, and he lays it up. 19 to 16, LSU out to a three-point lead. It's biggest margin of the game, and Reynolds has got seven points. 12.40 left to play in the half. 12.15 to play in the half. Tudor, left wing. I love to Mitchell for the dunk, or Reynolds, rather. 
Jerry Reynolds gets his ninth point, and it's 21-16. LSU has run off six unanswered points. And they have outscored Carolina 10-2 since the 1405 mark, Woody. Beg your pardon, it's eight unanswered points. Tar Heels are in the zone now with Dave Pops and the freshman from Ashley, Pennsylvania in the lineup. Tudor controlling top of the circle. To Mitchell, he'll take the jump shot. No good. Too strong tap by Reynolds. Pops and battles for it. Reynolds still comes up with it. Tried to scoop it up. No good. We got a whistle. And the foul is on Dave Popson of the Tar Heels. Brad Darty hearing the whistle. First shot his hand up into the air. I think thinking the foul might have been on him. But it uh, was not. It's on Dave Popson. His first, the seventh team foul. So LSU goes to the bonus here in the final seven minutes, 19 seconds of the half. The Tar Heels have run off nine points to only two for LSU to come from five down to have this two-point lead. Well, Reynolds is going to shoot. He's only, only shooting 53% from the line, and that's one of LSU's real weaknesses this year, Woody. They are not shooting at all well from the line as a team. They are only a 60, 65%, and so down the stretch, that could be a big factor in this ballgame. Well, Reynolds makes his first. He'll have another one coming. He's leading the LSU scoring in the first half. I have him uh, with 10 points. He's made four of five from the field, two of two from the free throw line. Here's the next one, and it's good also. So it's 25-25, score tied. I'll be visiting with some former Carolina players. Here's the feed. Nice one to Reynolds. Reverse layup is good. 27-25, LSU. The feed was by Nikita Wilson. Taylor from Smith across the top of the circle. Breaks his dribble down the left. High lob to Reynolds for the one-handed stuff. 29-25. Woody Reynolds has scored the last 12 points in a row for LSU. He's a streak player. He's been like that all year, and he's dangerous. Very, very dangerous when he gets like this. And you can see what's happening to the Tar Heels right now with Reynolds playing so well. He had 14 a year ago at the Meadowlands. He's already got 15 here in the first half. Carolina's now turned the ball over nine times in the first half. Joe Wolf 